glorious fishing. It's currently a Wednesday evening, uh, 7 p.m., and I've decided to come down to our local harbour to do a bit of shore fishing. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'll give you a run through of the tackle and uh, the bait that we're using, and hopefully get you some fish. Some glorious fishing. So guys, I'm just walking to the bottom now. Um, I've put my rods down there. Oh look, the pilot boat's in as well. We've got the pilot boat in. That's in at the moment. It must be expecting a ship. Yeah, I'm just making the walk down. I've already put my rods here. There's no one here, guys. It's an absolutely fantastic evening for fishing. It's flat calm. The tide's on its way up. High water's at nine, uh, half past nine. So hopefully get a few congas and maybe a bass. Um, the bait I'm using today is squid and ormaguts so i need to go back and get them because i've forgotten it so guys i just had to run back to the van i've got the bait um so yeah just had to quickly run back to the van all the rods and everything's there we got the drop net as well today because i'm going to be squid fishing and fishing for cuttlefish as well so uh hopefully we can get a few of them tonight guys it's a fantastic evening I mean, it's absolutely flat calm at the moment. The wind's going to pick up. We've got a uh, just a spell where there's no wind. So, yeah, hopefully we can make the most of it and get a few fish. There's a load of seagulls there out in the, uh, out in the uh, harbour bay there. Anyway, hopefully we can get something. So, guys, as usual, we're using the Tronic Pro Gorillas. The 13 foot, they're uh, four to seven ounce surf mix. They're great rods. So yeah, we're using them. I love the eyes on these rods. They're absolutely fantastic the way that they lean forward. I quite like them. Yeah, anyway, what I've got in on here is a two hook flapper rig. Um, as you can see there, loads of beads. So yeah, I'm gonna be using that. We're down to a 1-0 hook there. A Cox and Roll 1-0 hook. Um, two of them on. So yeah, beautiful flapper rig that. Ideal for these conditions here in the harbor. So yeah gonna get this one out I'll just give you the run through the bait and I'm gonna set this up so guys all I'm doing for the flapper rig is I just cut off the head of these little squid that we get these are little uh, one pound box of squid all I do is just do one slice that's all what I do down the body just open it up I don't take any of the inside out only the bone uh, like the uh, cartilage if it's there and then all I do is just do little shouldn't really do it on the concrete because you're blood, your knife. But all I do is just little strips like that. Loads of little uh, bits just dangling down. They love that. So just give that another cut. There. Beautiful. So just rip that off. I don't do anything fancy, guys. None of this pretty stuff. Not for these flapper rigs. That's what you want. Ideal. Get dogfish, small conga whips, even big congas, bream, you name it. We'll get it on that, guys. So... Gonna get this on the flapper rig and we'll get that rod out and then we'll set up the other rod for the big congas or bass. So guys, the pilot boat's leaving. He's off a ship must be on the way in, obviously. Hopefully it don't come here, otherwise it's gonna hamper my fishing. Beautiful evening. Anyway, let's get to the fishing. So guys, all I've done there is I've just thread on the baits. I've put an actual uh, squid head on that one as well. So yeah, just thread that on. We've got railings here, so beautiful rod stands as well. So you don't have to bring a tripod. And there's the other one, guys. That's all I do. Plenty of hook exposure. Um, nothing too fancy. We're not doing a uh, cuisine fishing here. Just get the baits out and hopefully get the fish. Let's get going. First rod out, baby, first rod out. So guys, I'm just gonna give you a little run through on this part. Um, what I've done 
done here, I've, I've set up my rod. I'll give you a quick glimpse of the rig in a minute. But what I've done here is uh, just got my squid and I've hollowed it out. So basically I've taken off the head and pulled out all the insides. I'm just going to pull out the cartilage here, if I can get it. There it is. And then what you've got there, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a hollow squid. And then what I've got here is some lovely armor guts from the armor videos. So what I do is with that, try and get the green bits. They're full of gunk, all the guts. That's the best bit that you want to grab. And you try and get them. And all I do is I stuff it. Stuff the hell out of it. I was going to say something else then. Off of a video. Scary movie. You can all imagine what that was, what I was going to say. Stuff the, when he's doing the turkey. But yeah, we're pushing that in there, guys. And literally, look, you can see all the guts oozing. Now that's going to perform a massive scent trail. Now bass, bullos, you name it, congas, they'd all go after that. Look, bit of armor in there as well. We'll chuck that in there for sure. Sorry guys, it's a bit of a slow process this because you've got to try and ram it in. Quite hard when it's still, look how mocky that is. If I use the knife there, I should be able to poke it down a bit. That's all what I used to get it out, guys, was just a knife. But you want to be careful that you don't puncture the squid. Because otherwise, when you uh, do the next stage, it ain't going to work, really. So, we get all that, all the gunk. They love all that. Like I said, the scent trail that this is going to perform is absolutely outstanding, guys. People underestimate almost the Ormogots as bait. But if you mix them right and you do it in the right conditions, in the right place, target in the right fish, especially the right fish, they're a crack and bait. So, as you can see, she is stuffed now. Absolutely stuffed. So, try not to lose any more. So I'll get my bait elastic. Don't out when you're uh, covered in loads of it. So what I do guys, I always start at the top obviously, you want to seal that pouch so nothing comes out of it, so just wrap the hell out of it guys, don't be, don't be shy with your bait elastic, I literally just wrap the hell out of it, move my thumb there, and I just shut that up like a parcel, that way you don't want any of it coming out, and then I just work my way down guys, basically it's that simple, just working my way down, forming it into a sausage almost, and all I do is work my way all the way down that guys you don't want you want to be too careful because sometimes you can put a little bit too much and you'll puncture it so you don't want to be doing anything like that just turn it around as you can see my hands are full of guts but luckily someone left me a rag so uh, yeah I'll be all right I didn't bring a rag neither and the one left down here so I'm gonna dump it in the bin afterwards but we we'll use it for now are guys and that is an ideal bait now normally I would put this on a pedal rig I haven't got I'm not I'm not doing a pedal rig so that's your bait there guys as you can see that it looks a fantastic bait if anything don't go for that look at my hands then there's something wrong with them so uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how I'm gonna put it on the hook and I'll show you the rig so guys rig time I'm just going to put it on the rig first. What I'm using here is a uh, 6 -0 long shank hook. I think it's a Sakuma. And uh, all I'm going to do is, is just go one, pull it right the way through. And you want to try and do your holes in line. That way, it'll make your bait as streamlined as possible. You know, we pulled a bit of all my gut out there. But don't worry about that. And then what I do is, guys, I only go through it twice. And I'll just pull the hook like that. And I'll just drop the eyelet down, pull your line up, and pull the hook eye into the bait, like that. And that is an ideal bait, that, guys. Prime bait for bass, gill heads, um, bull ass, you name it. Anything's going to go for that. So stay tuned, get it out there, and hopefully start getting some fish. It's inglorious. Oh, before I forget, guys, this is the rig. Uh, this is a smash fishing, well, not a smash fishing rig, but this is what he uses. It's just a three-way swivel, and then you're using a weak uh, P90 
pound a line here, 10, 12 pound. I've got that on a six ounce weight. And then I'm using 60 pound shock leader because that's all what I've got. So that way, the congas won't bite through that and hopefully we get a big one. So guys, all I'm doing with this is, I'm not gonna cast this one out. I'm sorry if there's any wind noise because the wind's blowing in on this direction. I'm not gonna cast this one out. I'm just gonna drop this one down in hope of a big conga. Hopefully we get one, guys. You don't want to cast bar, just literally drop down the side there, lower it down nicely, drop the drag back, and hopefully, big conga wonga. That's the plan, hopefully it works out. Anything takes that, we're gonna know about it. So guys, I apologize for the wind noise, the wind's right off now. I'll try and block you as much as possible. Uh, just a quick recap of what's happened so far. I've lost a squid, or a squid or a cuttlefish. I definitely have one arm pulling like anything, and it just came off halfway up. I didn't even get it up to the surface. So this is where I'm squidding down here, guys. This is where I get most of my squid and cuttlefish, right between the railroad ramp. They love structure. I've just got it out there at the moment in hope for an octopus or a cuttlefish. So yeah, we've got the uh, conga rod out, the big bass bait. So. That's just dropped down by the uh, wall, though I might blast that one out after. We've had nothing on the uh, two up flapper rig, so not too good at the moment. Plus, that wind's picking up, so yeah. Hopefully, something happens soon, guys. Well, guys, just another recap absolutely nothing. Uh, there's the pilot boat lads coming back in, and uh, they've just come back from whatever shout that they've done. But yeah, only that hit on the squid or cuttlefish or whatever it was. Definitely a squid or a cuttlefish. Anyway, hopefully we can get a fish. I don't want to blank. That's for sure. It's a beautiful evening. Shouldn't be blanking. The lad's coming in now. Anyway, hopefully we get a fish. Hopefully. So guys, it's currently half hour before high water. And I'm not even joking, you really haven't had a bite other than that squid and cuttlefish. It's been an absolute terrible and it's really promising. That wind's starting to pick up now. Um, I packed the rod up, I've, uh, not the rod, I packed my bag up, I packed the um, drop net. They're all gone. Like I say, I'm sorry about the wind noise now, it's right up. So uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not. I'm trying to block it as much as possible. But uh, yeah. Um, on a good thing, guys, um, the boat is nearly ready. So uh, hopefully we'll be getting back to the old boating videos. So a uh, big thank to Dave Sabir. Also uh, Sparky from OSR for getting the motor service really quick. And uh, yeah, Dave, he, he's been doing a cracking job on the boat. He's going to cut open the deck as well and put it all back. So yeah, couldn't thank him enough. So uh, yeah, we'll be out on the boat soon, guys. Can't wait, hopefully this weekend. So guys, this is absolutely dire. I haven't even had one bite on the bottom rods. So it looks like it's gonna be a blank. Now I'm sorry about that guys. I don't usually like coming out to do blanks. It would have been nice to have caught that squid or cuttlefish what was on my line. But hey, that's how it goes. I mean, hopefully one of these rods go off. I'd love to just catch a conga or a bass, something like that. Just one fish, just so I can give you a bit of fi uh, fishing content. But hey, if not, I'll still upload the video. I mean, I'm like any normal fisherman. We always blank every now and then. So I don't want to be one of them channels that just post up when, when you know, when you catch decent fish so it looks like you're one of them guys. You know, we all blank. So I'll put it up as well, guys. I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully we can get one. Let's hope so. So guys, I packed the squid rod up. We've just got the two bottom rods out now. If nothing happens in the next half an hour, I'm just gonna have to shoot, guys. Unfortunately, it'll just be a blank. So come on, rods, give me one fish. So guys, this is another episode of Inglorious Fishing. Unfortunately, no fish today, but that's how it goes. Like I said, I'm not an amazing fisherman, you know, I'm just your average Joe. I do blank. We all blank, it was just nice to get out because obviously my boat's being repaired, but like I said, 
earlier on in the video. Big thanks to Dave for beer. By Friday, I reckon the boat should be done, so we should be back in the water. And also Sparky for doing the motor so quick. So yeah, cheers lads, it's much appreciated. And uh, yeah, absolutely big up to you. So uh, yeah, if you like the channel guys, like, subscribe. We'll be back on the boat soon and it's turbo Werbo season next month. So uh, hopefully we get the big ones. Anyway, please, anyway. Oh, also guys, you mean the world to me, yeah? You, me doing these videos, it's all for you guys. What a plus for me, but I love bringing content for you. I love the feedback, so please give me as much feedback as possible. I will try and come, uh, answer every comment that is sent to me. And uh, yeah, so see you on the next one.